Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin, ha King Hamad bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Sofia Palace the Vice President of Amazon Web Services Worldwide Public Sector Business, Theresa Carlson, upon a visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty the King welcomed the Vice President of Amazon Web Services and he at the cooperation and partnership in the information and communications technology sector, affirming Bahrain's keenness to provide facilitations, create a supportive environment for investment, encourage innovation and embrace various companies and businesses to achieve comprehensive national development goals and promote economic diversification in the country. His Majesty hailed the support of Amazon of the National Programme in cooperation with the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs through providing training opportunities for Bahraini youth to develop their skills in various technology fields in order to enhance the performance of the workforce in this sector and meet its future needs. He affirmed that Bahrain possesses national competencies that made many pioneering successes and achievements in the ICT field at the regional and global levels thanks to the Kingdom's developed infrastructure and a strategic location which made it a destination for companies, institutions and international investments. For her part, the Vice President of Amazon Web Services expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for constantly supporting cooperation with Amazon, praising Bahrain's successes and its attraction of international companies in the ICT sector. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sofia Palace a delegation from the Russian State Duma, headed by a member of the Committee of International Affairs of the State Duma and President of the Internal Parliamentary Group, Bergini Ermakov, on the occasion of the visit to the Kingdom, in the presence of the Representative's Council Speaker, Fazia bin Abdullah Zainal, where the head of the delegation conveyed the greetings of the Russian President, Vladimir Putin, and his wishes of progress and prosperity to the Kingdom. His Majesty the King asked the head of the delegation to convey his greetings to the Russian President and his wishes of progress and prosperity to Russia. His Majesty welcomed the delegation members and reviewed with them the fraternal relations and cooperation, healing the advanced level the bilateral ties reached. His Majesty also discussed the success of the Kingdom achieved since the beginning of the parliamentary life on various fields, asserting the Kingdom's keenness on enhancing its democratic march and developing the National Council's work to achieve further progress for the Kingdom. His Majesty the King asserted the importance of such visits for the contribution to bolstering bilateral cooperation and the exchange of expertise, as well as coordination on joint interests. He commended the effective role of Russia led by President Vladimir Putin in the regional and international arena. For his part, the head of the delegation expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, as well as his keenness on developing bilateral relations. He praised the development of the Bahraini parliamentary experience and successes made for the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Debia Palace a number of royal family members and senior officials where he discussed with them a number of local and international matters. 
His Royal Highness hailed vital role of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in strengthening security and stability in the region and stressed Bahrain's stance in support of Saudi Arabia against all attempts to harm its security and stability. He affirmed that the challenges and crises facing the region and the world should increase awareness and keenness on continuing to develop and maintain the country's security and stability, as well as support its steps towards growth and progress. The Premier noted that the Kingdom's development march continues to achieve further gains that meet the aspirations of the citizens and provide constituents with a decent life. His Royal Highness also affirmed the government's keenness to implement its various developmental projects in the health, housing, education sectors and infrastructure as well as others in accordance with the highest standards to ensure high levels of quality and efficiency in the performance of various service facilities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Kadebia Palace Dr Ali Jafar Al Aradi and a number of his family members who expressed gratitude and appreciation for His Royal Highness's condolence over the demise of Mohsen Jafar Al Aradi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the people of Bahrain are distinguished by their cohesion and patriotism, healing the keenness on contributing to the country's growth and maintaining its security and stability. His Royal Highness urged to continue communication between the people of Bahrain to reach the highest levels of progress and prosperity. He also stressed the importance of nurturing authentic Bahraini values in the next generations to increase the patriotism. For his part, Dr Al Aradi, on behalf of his family members, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness in empathising with the citizens, affirming that his approach of communication constitutes an outstanding method and asserts His Royal Highness's high moral values. He wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President of the Spanish Olympic Committee, Alejandra Blanca Bravo. His Highness Sheikh Khalid signed a sports protocol with the President of the Spanish Olympic Committee, which includes enhancing joint cooperation between the two committees to support the formation of new opportunities to build and develop more partnerships that achieve the values and principles of the international Olympic movement. His Highness expressed his delight at the signing of the sports protocol between the Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Spanish Olympic Committee, healing the friendly and cooperative relations between Bahrain and Spain and the keenness to develop them. The signing of the sports protocol will open new horizons of bilateral cooperation between the two committees through joint programmes, exchange of experiences and encouraging participation in competitions and sports tournaments. For his part, the President of the Spanish Olympic Committee said that the signing of the sports protocol will have positive reflection on the development of relations between the Spanish Olympic Committee and the Bahrain Olympic Committee, serving the aspirations of both sides to increase opportunities and cooperation frameworks. He expressed his appreciation for the great efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Khalid in order to achieve more successes for the Bahraini sport, 
adding that the Spanish Olympic Committee will support the partnership with the Bahrain Olympic Committee. The two sides agreed to develop sports exchanges and participate in training courses, bilateral competitions and camps. They also agreed to exchange information and practices in sports management, as well as to help each other in the run-up to the summer, beach, Mediterranean and any other events under the Olympic umbrella.